the other day, I think it was yesterday, what happened is I went into the lounge and my housemate had moved things around. Like he'd moved, I think, my entire guitar amp, both the guitars and a giant shelving unit from one side of the room to the other side of the room. And I didn't notice that he'd done it for at least a couple of hours. And then he said, do you notice anything different? And I obviously looked around and still didn't really notice anything had changed. And then he pointed that he pointed out that he had moved these big things, and I said, "Oh wow, okay, like that's." I was very surprised that I didn't notice these changes, and it's led me to remind myself about a very important concept with lucid dreaming, which everyone sometimes forgets, and that is it's about awareness. If you if you can like go through your day with things like that happening, and you not being aware of them, then something's wrong. Like I was something was wrong with me, because. To not notice something that big of a like to not notice that big of a change means that in that moment or you know that day yesterday I was not aware of myself I was on autopilot and it's probably because I was tired from going to the gym the day before and I hadn't really slept well but that's beside the point you should if if something like that happens and if you know if you realise that you can't actually pick up on changes in your environment and you don't notice things happening around you that's going to be detrimental to your lucid dreaming. And it was sort of a reminder for myself, I guess, to be more aware and to pay more attention to what's going on around me, because if something like that can happen, I'm not paying enough attention. So here's a little challenge for you. What I would, what I've started doing is every, every sort of day or two, not every single day, but every, every couple of days, I will spend 10 minutes where I just sit in a room and just take in every single detail that I possibly can, really look around and think like, is this whiteboard in the right place? Is this clock in the right place? Is this wall colour the same colour it normally is? Is this cupboard shelving unit in line? Are these cards in a straight line? Have the colours changed? Is this remote straight? Like, is the reflection in the mirror correct? These things are going to build your critical awareness because you're going to look at the things that you take for granted and, cr and question them and criticise whether they are that way. I think one of the biggest tests you can do as well is to sit in a room and close your eyes and ask yourself questions about the house you live in. Like for example, what colour are your bathroom walls? That's usually fairly easy, right? What floor is in your kitchen? What is the pattern on the flooring? What is the pattern on your ceiling? You know? Roughly where in your room are your plug sockets? In your shower? Try and visualise the shower knob where you change the temperature and the, and the numbers. Which way does it go? Is the hottest at the bottom or the top? And like really ask yourself these questions where you try and build your memory of the places you take for granted because a lot of people just go on autopilot and assume they know where everything is in the house. A lot of people just do this stuff on autopilot most of the time and they don't realise that they don't actually know things about the place they, they spend most of their lives in, the houses. And this is all about awareness and critical thinking. So interrogate yourself about, like, about your own house. Ask yourself questions like where is a certain object or what is the pattern on like try and describe or visualize specific things with your eyes closed it's actually a lot harder than you think it really is a lot harder than you think like for example what brand is your fridge what brand is your tv i mean you see the logo every day but what brand is it i couldn't tell you mine and i literally watch tv every evening so it's kind of an interesting experiment i guess just to ask yourself certain questions about the environment you live in and pay more attention i think the ultimate message of this video is just to pay attention to what's going on around you and try and pick up on changes. That's gonna give you a very good chance of lucid dreaming because you're gonna ask yourself questions and criticize your environment and think, okay, well that's not quite right. Maybe something's wrong here, maybe I'm dreaming and then you're lucid just like that. So that's it for today, guys. Done. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.